Hey there, my name's Nate and this is Heavy Pedal Garage. Today we're going to work on putting on a really cool ceramic coating product from a company named Avalon King. The product's called Armor Shield 9. This is a super tough ceramic coating that's going to go on my pulling rig. It's a 2019 Chevy Silverado three quarter ton and my family and I use that for all kinds of fun adventures. So I want to make sure this paint is protected for the duration and it's got this really good coating on there to be able to take care of my truck for many years into the future. This stuff has a guarantee to last for two to five years. So it's perfect for a pulling rig or a daily driver and uh, the whole thing that goes into this. It's just like a paint job. It takes a, a lot of prep, but that prep is washing, debugging, doing things like light buff if you want, that's optional, and then applying the product the right way and buffing it off. So we're gonna take you through some of the steps. There's a ton of other videos online. Make sure you check out the Avalon King website. This stuff retails for about $70 a kit but this one bottle treated my whole three quarter ton truck jams and everything with one coat, which is all you really need. Two coats will work to make sure you've got protection, but they definitely don't recommend stacking three coats. So no more than two, but I did it in one. Let's get this going. We'll get the truck prepped and then I'll show you how to put this stuff on. So this truck is pretty dirty. You can see all the bugs and crud on the front of this truck from all the highway miles we put on it here. And uh, I'm just going to take some time and get this washed in really good. We're going to do a two-step method here where I just go over it and get the top coat off with this brush. And then after that's done, we're going to follow up with a really good wash using a microfiber cloth, paying attention and making sure that we get all the little bits and pieces of bug and dirt and debris off of this to the best of our ability. All right, so now that we got it all washed up, I went over it twice with some Dawn dish soap, which is okay to use. I wanted to cut the wax and all the grime and degrease this thing. You definitely wouldn't want to use that Dawn for your everyday car wash, but in this case, we wanted to strip it down. And then I also used some of this, which I just had on the shelf. It's a streak remover, but on here it talks about getting rid of uh, bugs and tar and as a degreaser. So I went ahead and wiped down the whole truck with that. And I'm going to rinse it off and then we'll be ready to start our clay bar process. For my clay bar, just the garden variety, uh, reasonably priced Amazon product here. It came with several bars. It did not come with a lubricant, but uh, the reviews on this were just as good as any of the other professional brands that were a little more expensive. And then I hope this is all right, but for a lubricant, I'm just going to use this car shampoo. You definitely don't want to use something that's got waxes in it but I think this will work. It feels pretty slippery on my clay bar. Poured it into a little spray bottle there. I may thin it as needed, but we're just gonna start with the straight deal and go ahead and clean the imperfections off of this paint. So as I had mentioned, this is the first time I've ever done this. I've never clay barred before. I've never applied the ceramic coating before. So take all this with a grain of salt, but what you really are getting here is the beginner's perspective on this and you'll get my honest opinion for sure so you really can feel the imperfections on the paint and this plastic as you're kind of rubbing it you can feel as it gets smoother and smoother when you're taking off those little bits of pollution and road grime and bugs and guts and all that stuff so we're just going to go ahead and rub this in I mean, if you really want to see a professional perspective, there's a bazillion videos on YouTube about clay bar and even washing your car and also applying the ceramic coating. The general gist of this clay bar stuff, I think, is you just spray on your lubricant. Keep kneading this over as the imperfections are being picked up. Get a new piece if you need it, and then you just rub the whole car down. Looking pretty good. But when you get up close, I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's some spider scratches in here, just kind of some spirals. It happens, but I'm gonna hit it real quick with my buffer and just take it down to a nice mirror shine. So what I'm gonna use to do that is just this 110 by Meguiar's and my Bauer dual action 
from Harbor Freight and a medium polish pad. So if you guys wanna see more on how this is done, at least from a beginner's perspective, you can go back to some of my past videos. I've been working on a Firebird and uh, I did a whole cut and buff series on getting that paint corrected. What a process. So now we've got everything clean, buffed. We have one last wipe stage before we can actually apply this product. So what we need to do is make an IPA. And I'm not talking about that good beer. You're gonna want it after you do all of this. I'm wore out already. But basically we need to use an isopropyl alcohol solution. Do a final wipe down and that'll get rid of all those other impurities that come from the soap or the compounds that we use. Just anything left on there, this IPA should take it off. Now, they come in different size containers and also percent solution IPA. If you have any questions about the math or what this is for or how to use it, go to the Avalon King webpage and there's a whole article all about IPA solutions, how to make it with a 90% alcohol or a 70%, which is what we have here. And you definitely want to use distilled water. If you used regular tap water, there's minerals and impurities in that water, and you don't want to be spraying those onto this surface. Anything that goes onto this surface is going to be part of the coating. It'll be encapsulated once you put your ceramic coating on. So we don't want to use hard water. So let's get this mixed up, and then we'll start wiping it down. All right, so the final result is a 17.5% solution of IPA in distilled water. That's the target range, and that article will give you the ratio that you need based on the type of isopropyl alcohol you have and the percent strength of it. So to apply this, it's pretty easy. Just set your bottle on mist, spray it on, work a little bit at a time, and then wipe it off. Once your rag gets too damp, you throw it out. Start with another one. So I'm just gonna go around and do one panel at a time, and then we should be ready to go. So let's get to the good stuff here. This is what all this is about. Avalon King. We're gonna do a little opening here. This is what it comes in. Nice packaging. It's got the logo, pretty cool. They sent me two boxes for my truck. We'll see if I need both kits to do the whole thing. But we're gonna start with one. First thing you can see is really nice packaging. Cool logo, armor shield, nano ceramic coating. I am really impressed with the company packaging. The whole persona of the company is pretty cool. It's really fun. If you get on their website, look at all the things that they have to offer. It's always filled with fun comments and, and very entertaining stuff. Their online presence is pretty awesome, including the YouTube video. If you wanna really see how this stuff is supposed to go on, go check out their YouTube video. It goes through the whole process. And again, it is a fun video. It kind of plays off of this whole Ocean's Eleven Hitman theme. Hey, I heard you've been having a lot of problems. Need to protect your girl, huh? This will solve all that. Here you go. Here, take this. This is your primary contact if you have any questions. They call him the king. He'll be your guide through the job. It was really cool. I'll tell you everything you need to know. But uh, this is what we're going to do. Apply, smile, and enjoy. So there it is. Beautiful. I mean, when you open this stuff up, it really makes you feel like you're really getting something. So 30 milliliters, nice, nice bottle. Like, I don't know, like I would feel bad throwing this out. Like I kind of want to use it and then keep the bottle around. That's just me. So we've got the actual chemical. Here is applicator buffing cloth. And then your applicator block of rubber gloves. And this is the little chamois that we're gonna to use to put it on. Very cool sticker. We'll be adding that to the collection. So since we're talking about stickers, 
my buddy John over at Backyard Garage, we did a sticker swap and he sent me this really cool sticker for my collection. Make sure you go over to his channel. I'll put a link in the description. Check out what he's got going on, a few different projects on his channel, but the main one is a second gen Camaro that's looking pretty darn sweet. And of course, you've got paper instructions and like I mentioned, everything is on their website as well as their YouTube videos. So. So we'll take a closer look at the instructions here, recommended for pretty much all the hard surfaces. You can layer it on, on your paint, wheels, glass, lights. Okay, so here's a quick look at the instructions. That's what that card is for, being able to apply your uh, little chamois cloth into the slots of this block. Shake it, of course, and then we're gonna put it on in a thick layer, cross hatch pattern, as I had mentioned, and then buff it off. And then once it's done, proceed to apply and buff one part at a time. So we're gonna do one panel at a time. So within this wrap, there's like three of these little suede chamois applicators. So we're gonna wrap these around the block and use our card to keep that inserted. So there we go, just like that. We're ready to rock and roll now. So this stuff is going on really easy. It's got this cool bottle with a little flip top that you can control your fluid. You just tap it onto your block. And then when you rub it on, it, it kind of looks like an oil sheen as it's flashing. So it's pretty easy to tell if you've gotten everything that you want. So I'm just doing little sections at a time, watching for that oil sheen. And then you can feel when that cloth starts to dry out, just a little tap, tap, put a little more on there. But guys, this is really easy. I, I can tell you, I was a little concerned, having never done this before, about how this was going to go on. And it is pretty darn easy. It's kind of foolproof, really. We're just doing sections at a time. I'm going to do half the whole hood here. And then I'll buff it off, and then we'll do the other side. But I tell you, one thing it does not like is water. So you really want to make sure that you've got your car completely dry before you start adding this stuff on. It might not even be a bad idea to go ahead and wash it and do all your work and then let it set overnight. You're going to be tired. I'm telling you, it is quite the process after going through all of that washing and, you know, wiping off and buffing and all of that. So you may want to just give yourself a rest too and start this fresh the following day. All right, so we're going to let that flash. I'll show you what that looks like. So you can see it looks like an oil sheen. On this black paint, it is very noticeable. And you can really see that you've got everything covered. Now, other paint colors, I don't know how that would work, but I can really tell. So we're going to let that flash for just another minute or so. And then we'll use our little uh, microfiber cloth here and we'll go ahead and buff it all out. So buffing this out, it's a lot like wax. You don't need a lot of pressure. And you want to flip your cloth as you go and it'll come right off, buff right out. Yeah, you can definitely tell when you don't have it all wiped out because it'll just leave streaks and haze. And you can just go right back over it and get it all cleaned up. So there you go. So you can see like right there where I didn't buff it all the way. That's okay because I'm going to do the other half of the hood. But man, that looks great. It really shines it up. Just feels good. Like you're really doing something good for your investment here. Fighting that daylight, so let's get going. We'll get that Avalon King on there, get this armor shield busted out. And uh, stay with me, guys, because I'm going to show you the end result here, and I'll give you my final review.
sweet. I just beat the sun. Setting over the hill there. But man, this turned out pretty darn good. So overall guys, this was a super easy process. I mean, all the work goes into the prep to get ready to put it on, but the actual application, I was a little nervous about because I'd never done it before, but it actually goes on really easy, wipes off really easy. So don't be nervous about any of that. Um, I, you know, there may be armor coatings out there, ceramic coatings that are cheaper. There's certainly some out there that are more expensive, but I tell you what, my first time using this stuff, I'm super impressed with the company, their customer support, all their media, social media, you get emails from them, you know, providing tips and all of that stuff for application. Keep an eye out for the deals that they have on their website. It's an American-based company, so that's always a plus. And do some research on the web. You'll find a ton of videos from different people that have applied this, and all of their follow-up testing looks really good. So I'm excited to see how this stuff lasts. Two to five years is what they say. So my truck lives in the garage most of its life, and really I drive it when I pull the camper and the occasional run to the hardware store. So I'm thinking this stuff is really going to last quite a long time. Well, thanks for checking out the video. If you get a chance, hit that like button, especially if you made it this far. And then if you wouldn't mind, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We got tons of cool stuff coming up. As always, appreciate each and every one of you and catch me next time.